Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indochina border across the LSE is obstructed by mountains which limits the capability of various radars in detecting the aircraft and especially when they are flying hugging the terrains. Even on flat terrains, helicopters and fighter jets fly low to avoid their detection from radar and we have seen this numerous times during the Russia-Ukraine war. With low flight altitude, the fighter jets or aircrafts are safe from the air surveillance radar but they become vulnerable to deadly manpads or man-portable air defense system. These types of systems are used as a short-range point defense where enemies are very close in the range of 5 to 6 kilometers. Now, DIDO has already started working on the next generation manpad system also known as VSHORAD or very short-range air defense to reduce the export dependencies. It's going to be a state-of-art system which will feature an autonomous manpad data link AMDL in its launcher. Now AMDL is a very critical feature which is going to take the manpad leaps ahead from the present generation. Hyderabad based Green Robotics with Bharat Electronics Limited is jointly developing AMDL system. It is first of its kind air defense solution that brings the isolated manpad or man portable air defense system operator into a networked environment. At present, most of the man portable system are usually operated by one gunner and observer in a very unfriendly environment or hostile environment we can say with almost no linkage or connection to the local command. Now AMDL is first of its kind mesh networked, centrally integrated, ARVR enabled and AIML edge enabled last mile C4I system that is capable of connecting multiple man pad operators into a single mesh and link them to a single command to deliver highest hit rate and zero collateral damage. In simple term, a soldier can be equipped with this Vishorad and deployed in a remote location such as mountain or hilltop but will be connected to command center to get the updated threat and target coordinates and can launch attack. Vishorad will deliver highest situational awareness for shooter and maximum degree of control with the help of augmented intelligence and voice commands. DRDO's Vishorad will feature dual band infrared homing seeker and multi-spectral optical seeker. Now the dual band infrared seeker is no joke as it will ensure the destruction of incoming aircraft besides their heavy countermeasures deployed. The missile can carry up to 25 kg of warhead. It will have fire and forget capability and can engage aerial targets in day or night. It will have a horizontal range of 6 km and vertical range of 3 km. However, its detection range will be much larger. The development of DRDO's Vishurad has been fast-tracked and expected to complete in the first quarter of 2023. Recently, DRDO has also procured 20 uncooled imaging infrared seeker for these Vishurads. The infrared camera used in IIR seeker are of two types, cooled and uncooled one. The cooled cameras are more bulky, expensive and more prone to failures when compared to the uncooled infrared cameras which DRDO has procured. DIDO has also begun the designing and fabrication of wind tunnel model of Vishorats for testing at NAL's wind tunnel test facility. Considering the pace of development, we can expect the system to be ready for field trials by the end of 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.